Hey everybody, it's me, Kevin Aguilar. And in case you missed it, there's a brand new blockbuster movie out in theaters. It's a new one from Disney and it's called The Jungle Cruise. And I'm here to give you my take on whether or not you should catch this film. All right, before we jump into it too far, I want to clarify one thing. In my opinion, there are films and then there's movies. This is definitely a movie. Films are those, I mean, films are the ones that are gonna win all the Oscars for, for their technical acting and all that other stuff. Movies are just that, they're fun and it's entertainment. And if that is something you're looking for, I think you might be onto something with The Jungle Cruise. Now, personally, I'm familiar with the ride um, and I didn't really know how it was gonna translate as a movie and I'm telling you, it translated really well. This movie really reminded me and took me back to old school movies. I actually almost at times felt like I was watching a classic Indiana Jones film. It was funny, it had lots of humor in it, um, a lot of action. I'm telling you, for the most part, from the time the movie starts until the end, it is pretty much non-stop action, which was really impressive because the movie itself is over two hours. Um, and there's a few other elements that I'm gonna to wanna to point out that I really liked, that I think that you might find worth and appealing as well. So in addition to the, again, the comedic aspect and of course the action and adventure and amazing special effects, there's a couple elements that I really, really liked. One of them was the female character, character played by um, Emily Blunt. I really liked how she was not, they didn't portray her just as the damsel in distress. They actually gave her character a strong, strong, strong center um, core. And in times I felt like she was equally as strong as Dwayne Johnson's character. And so that I thought was really, really, really cool. Um, and the, the interaction, the play between uh, Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt is just great casting. Um, and not to mention all the other supporting characters as well as this, as well as the gentleman who plays her brother, which I can't remember his name. But long story short, if you want my opinion, should you see this movie? Should you actually, you know, go out to the theater, pay the few extra bucks to watch it? I think so. I deliberately chose to see this one in the theater because I knew it was gonna be big. I knew it was gonna, I wanted to see it on the big screen. I'm really, really glad that I did that. I really, really feel that if you see it, I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. But who knows, maybe I'm off, maybe I'm wrong. So I like to make this a little community event. So if you saw the movie, I'd love your comments down below. If you haven't seen the movie, tell me why not, and you don't plan to, tell me why not. Comment down below. And lastly, if you saw the movie and you completely disagree with, with my take on it, uh, respectfully, comment down below. Anyways, that's my video for today. Thanks for watching.